Bum bum bum. Hi guys. Yes, haircut. Second of all, I am doing this video simply because it's something that I have to do. Now before I do that, let me just finish out this. Now, long story short, I pointed out in a couple of videos uh, by Jeremy Hanley over at The Quartering um, about uh, how McDonald's has made so much money uh, in such a bad economy. And the way McDonald's makes their money, the way any uh, 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 fast food chain restaurant makes their money is in uh, franchises. And what that means is uh, when McDonald's first initially started, McDonald's would, the, the family that originally started the McDonald's, I should say, what they did, excuse me, what they did, and it's, it's even, it's in movies about this, it's in documentaries, it's well-known history, so for some reason, a lot of people don't seem to actually bloody remember this, but it started because the family who originally started McDonald's purchased a whole bunch of land and then levied that against the banks namely they went to the banks and said look we've got all this land we need loan banks gave them the loan they took that loan money and then bought buildings in bigger cities like la uh, uh, chicago uh, salt lake city things of that nature they, they purposely bought plots of land in big upcoming urban cities because they knew eventually that is where that you're gonna want to be to make your money i.e foot traffic that's why it's called foot traffic now that's out of the way let me make this abundantly clear mcdonald's probably only makes one percent less than that one percent profit for each burger sold now you're thinking, well, how the hell can they say that they, they've made billions? Okay. McDonald's doesn't make... Uh, and even then, I honestly think McDonald's actually loses money per burger sold, per fry pod sold, per, per drink sold. The reason why I say this, and yet they can still make a profit, is because they own the building. Let me make that abundantly clear to you. The way this works is poor little immigrant or poor American who somehow managed to scrape some money together has the minimum amount to invest, again, to invest into a franchise for, say, McDonald's. For the sake of the video, we'll call them McDougal's, okay? So, he's gone to McDougal's and said, I would like to be part of your franchise. They will say, okay, this is the bare minimum requirements that you need. And to prove this, I will show you this. Now, right here, you can see everything. Now, if you scroll down, typical annual sales is between 2, two million to 5.8 million pounds. Now, this is in the UK because I'm in the UK, right? But if you keep scrolling, from January to December, 80% of all McDonald's UK franchise restaurants had sales between 2 to 5.8 million. To invest in a McDonald's franchise, a minimum financial requirement is 25% of the total investment of encumbered funds. So you need to come up with 25% of 2 million. Just for the UK. So you need to invest a minimum of £125,000. You have to give that to McDonald's immediately and say... I want to be part of your franchise, please. Here. So, and of course, my magpies here. What's up, Francis? Now, when you've done that, they will then give you the rights and the royalty to sell, to put McDonald's stickers, emblems, which they will sell you. They won't give them to you. They will sell them to you. The packaging, they'll sell to you. This, uh, you start to understand where they make their money. So, McDonald's makes their money in selling you the building, selling you the boxes, selling you the buns, selling you the burgers, selling you the fries, selling you the lettuce, selling you the tomatoes, selling you all the raw ingredients that you need. That is how McDonald's makes its money. 
you're the sucker that just gave them 125k for the rights and privilege. And you're not going to make that back. Let me make this abundantly clear. When they said McDonald's, you know, typical annual sales is 2 million to 5.8. No. That's how much they're going to make off of you. Let me make that abundantly clear. That is how much McDonald's is going to make off of you. Okay. So, let's go back. Typical typical rent, advertising and royalty. And a monthly rent payable by 80% of restaurants franchises. So, you've got to pay 80% rent to McDonald's who own the building. And range between eight and eighteen percent on the on the net sales. So they're taking net from your sales. This is why when McDonald's do their 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 uh, 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 monopoly shit, if you read the fine print, it will say not available at all uh, 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 all uh, all McDonald's because again the franchisees can say no because they're not going to be making money. So you got to understand how how much that th- this is literally a scam. Okay, your typical return on ROI, return on investment over twenty years is only going to be twenty to twenty five percent. Let that sink in. And that's not guaranteed. It's a potential. Again, you can't put potential to guarantee. You cannot potentially give a guarantee. It's a guarantee is a guarantee. You can't potentially give a guarantee. That's not how the words work, McDonald's. That right there is legalese jargon bullshit. And of course, you have to use their own banking. McDonald's has a bank. They are a bank. They have, They own a bank. So, please understand that when I say McDonald's is a scam, it is a scam. They own their own banks, so guess what? They can write themselves their own loans to buy more buildings. Just like what the federal government does. The federal government goes, print a burr! That's it, because why the US dollar is shit. It's junk, it's fucking nothing. It's based on nothing. It used to be based on the gold standard, i.e. something that is a finite resource. And the U.S. walked away from that. The whole world currency was based on gold. The gold that's in Fort Knox, if there is any left in there, is worthless. It is junk. It is bunk. It is buckus. It's not worth a squirt of piss that you shake your dick out after after a good night piss up down at the pub. It is not worth it. None of it is worth it. The franchise is a fucking scam and i will say that again it is a fucking scam it is a scam no ands ifs or buts it's a scam mcdonald's wants you to give them 125k up front and then after 20 years now bear in mind again you're also then they're taking between eight to eighteen percent off your sales. So when you have a good sales day, they'll come in and go, We want eighteen k we want eighteen percent of that. <laughs> it is a scam, it is a Ponzi. But because it's the backbone of America, it's not, by the way. And by the way, here's another little thing to blow your fuzzy little mind. Apple pie is not American. Apple pie is British. The English invented apple pies. In fact, the English invented fruit-based pies, period. So when you say you're as humble as American pie... No, America didn't invent a fucking apple pie. The French invented the apple crumble. No, wait. It was the bake... Was it a bake... It doesn't matter. Long story short, okay? This is why when McDonald's says, Oh, we've made X amount of of billions... None of the franchisees are going to see that. It doesn't trickle down. It goes up and stays up. 
So please understand when I say this. It's on their own fucking website. This is McDonald's website. This is McDonald's.com. It is their fucking website. It is a fucking scam. In my opinion, it is a scam. Do the research for yourself and then ask yourself, why is it certain restaurants can charge, want to charge 18, 19, 20 pounds for a Big Mac meal and another restaurant only charges you eight? It's because they're franchisees. The ones that are charging you more are because they are a franchisee. They have to because McDonald's is going to come along and take eight to 18%. And they need to somewhere they they have to they have to literally put that 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 mark up somewhere. The, the restaurant doesn't want to mark it up. They want you to come in and sit down and eat and ha and then you know kind of thing. But they can't. They can't hide that eighteen percent. They can't hide that. They just can't. It's impossible. Not even a used car dealer could hide that level of margin in, in a vehicle. You just you can't do it. And it's another thing. They require that you have an annual cash flow of one hundred and twenty to four hundred thousand. Cash flow in this money left in your business before you have taken the, a, a personal draw, which means you can't take anything out. You have to pay back any outstanding loans because, like I said, they're a bank. Okay, and make sure all your taxes are paid up up front before you can take any money, any of your money or earnings out of your restaurant. When are you people going to wake up? It is a scam, in my opinion. Legally, I've got to cover my ass here. Legally, I've got to cover my ass. So, to me, this is my opinion. It is a scam. End of. It is a scam. And I can guarantee you, McDonald's will probably ta have this video taken down. So, get in and watch it while you can. But it is a scam. Please, people, educate yourself. I will put the links and everything down below. But it is a scam. Stay away from franchises. Not just McDonald's. Not just KFC. Not just wherever. Just stay away from them. Don't even go to them. Their food is junk. It's, it's barely even humanly edible. Everyone knows that... that, that you can take uh, uh, here in England. We we buy like like rolls of dog meat, which is basically lips, nose, and shit that we don't we don't even put in hot dogs, and we grind it up and we put it into like these little sausage things. I used to get them all the time for one of my dogs, at, like I think it was like um, Lidl's or Aldi's, wherever. No, no, it was um, began with a K. Anyway, they're gone now. Um, I used to pick up like seven of them because they were like 50 something p each that meat is on the same health cook cookable grade as mcdonald's meat okay trust me just there's too much freaking chemicals and shit in the food leave it the fuck alone walk the fuck away just walk the fuck away ask yourself this have you ever seen any of the higher ups at mcdonald's or any franchise for that matter in one of their own restaurants nope why doesn't mark zuckerberg allow his kids to have facebook why didn't jack dorsey oh that's right jack dorsey's too fugly to have fucking kids but even if he did none of his kids have twitter they, they don't allow them they won't allow them and the only reason why mcdonald's wants to get more money out of their turnips i.e you people is to have their app no just no don't don't give them your data don't give them your data don't do none of that just just leave them alone just leave them alone so please understand guys that mcdonald's and, and just in general all franchises uh, in general are a scam the only people who make money are the ones in the suits not you end of they are a scam. Stay the fuck away from them. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. It's right there. It's down below. It costs you nothing. Please hit that notification bell so when I do upload a video, you will get notified. And if need be, please leave a comment down below for the algorithm. 
and most importantly if you have any questions please ask them down below and i will do my best to answer them until then guys stay safe stay sane stay sexy cobra commander is out